Okay, uh, now I'm going to show you how to create the uh, Yoshizawa butterfly. Um, we start with a square piece of paper. Um, my sheet's already got a diagonal crease there, but we're going to repeat that crease. So make that crease there. Open it back up again. Then we're going to crease the other diagonal by folding this corner to this corner. And again, try to be as accurate as you can. Make sure that the corner and the edges meet and then make a nice sharp crease. And if you start from the middle and run your finger out, you will get a more accurate crease. So we've done both diagonals. Now we're going to do the horizontal. So again, fold the top edge and the bottom edge together. And then open it back up. So we've done two diagonals and a horizontal fold all on one side of the paper. What we're going to do now is turn the paper over, so flip it over completely, and there's a remaining horizontal crease that has not been folded yet. So we're now going to fold that again, and it's going to go the other direction. Okay, and then again, open it up and turn it so it's facing upwards. What you should notice is that the paper will stand up and there's a peak in the middle. What we're going to do next is we're just going to simply push it in the middle. Just push it until it touches the table. And you'll notice that this part kind of pops up. And what we were going to do now is take these two midpoints, the middle left and right points, and bring them together and hold them with your finger and thumb. We're also going to bring the top midpoint and the bottom midpoint up to meet your finger and thumb. So we're going to bring this one up, and then we're going to bring this one up. And if you place the paper down on a table now, you should notice that it collapses into a triangle shape, like we'll do. Okay. It will form a triangle shape. So, um, have a look at the model. You see it forms a triangle. And if you look from the top, you'll see there are four corners. What we're going to do is, we're going to fold this right corner up to meet the middle point and we're only folding the top layer okay so this bottom layer remains there we're going to do the same on the left side by folding this left corner up to meet the middle point we'll make a nice sharp crease we're then going to turn the model over Now we're going to fold the entire model in half and by that I'm saying we're taking this point here and these two loose flaps here and we're going to fold it upwards and we're going to make sure that the point actually goes past this edge by about a centimeter. It doesn't have to be that accurate but as long as it's about a centimeter you're, it's fine. And then make a nice sharp crease through the entire model. Okay, and the quite, paper's quite thick here, but you need to fold right through the model. Next, we're going to pull down this corner and bring it all the way down. And as we do that, you see this edge here? It will kind of curl up a bit. But that's exactly what we want to happen. We're going to just push this down, and as you see that curl up, you're going to push it down flat. And it will form a kind of triangle shape here. And again, it doesn't have to be accurate for this type of model, for this model. See, so it forms a flat triangle. And we'll do the same on this side. We bring this corner down, all the way down. And then we we'll gently sweep the paper all along here and flatten it. And as we flatten, we find that this edge will curl up. And again, once it curls, just push it down. 
and flatten it. We're then going to turn them all over again. And see this triangle piece here? We're just going to fold it flat against the model. And then we're going to fold it out again just by a little bit. So see this triangle here? Let me draw it. See how I drew in a black line? We're going to fold this small piece of triangle outwards. And this will kind of form the head of the butterfly. And then turn the model over again. Okay. We're now going to fold the entire model in half along this horizontal. And it's quite thick here, so you have to bend all the paper over. If you notice that this little bit here rips, it's not that big a deal. Don't worry about it. Okay. And we're nearly finished. Now, to finally finish off the butterfly, we actually have to fold the wing. Now, if you locate the middle section of this part of the body, you will see there's a crease line that comes out of the wing. Now, there would be a point here. Okay, we're going to make a diagonal from this corner to above the head to about there. And again, it doesn't matter how far or low it is, as long as. Um, where as long as it's not too far high, but to make, that will make the body really big. So about there, about one, one and a half centimeters or two centimeters up. I'm going to draw the line so it's clearer. Okay. So we're going to fold along this crease line, and this will create the wing. So, like so. Again, I'm going to repeat that. You're going to fold it across there, like so. And then you're going to do the same thing on the other side. So if you flip the model over, and because you already folded this wing here, you can just use it as a guideline. You just fold this so it matches that wing. And if you open it up, that completes your butterfly. Now, naturally, um, it looks prettier if you use uh, colored paper. and Or you, if you like, you can color it or paint it. And one of the things um, that I quite like is folding it out of uh, pages from scrapbooks or magazines so that you can see the text on it. And uh, some people like to actually print the paper with like their favorite poem or lyrics or songs. And you can attach these to the wall and make a nice mural or you can actually pin a thread through the middle and you can hang them from the ceiling like a, a, a mobile. Thank you, bye bye.